The latest installment in J.K. Rowling's Wizarding World Saga, Fantastic Beasts The Crimes of Grindelwald, is coming to home media thanks to Warner Brothers. And as is always the case, there'll be a magical selection of editions appearing on the shelves. In this video I plan to go over all the details of all the different versions you can expect to find across the US and Canada, the UK and Australia, and when you can find them in stores and on digital platforms. Additionally I will also detail the list of announced special features and will then deliver my final thoughts on all of the releases discussing which version or versions I'll be picking up. In doing so I also hope to help you weigh up which version is best for you. As always I will leave affiliate links down below in the comments if you'd wish to purchase the movie from Amazon. I did of course review Crimes of Grindelwald when it was first released in cinemas. If you'd like to take a look at my more in-depth thoughts on the movie, please feel free to check out my review via the links in the top corner or click through the hyperlinks at the end of the video. On your screen is the list of topics that I'll be covering in this video. If you're more interested in checking out some over others, then please feel free to skip forward via the time codes I provided down below in the comments. Otherwise you are of course more than welcome to stick it with me for the long run. Also keep in mind that it's not uncommon for things to change between announcement and release, whether that be the announcement of new additions or changes to artwork, special features and specs. Let's take a look at the North American release where Fantastic Beasts The Crimes of Grindelwald will be landing on physical home media on March 12th 2019 and on digital an almost unprecedented entire month earlier on February 15th 2019. As these release windows between digital and physical get wider and wider, I worry more and more about the fate of physical home media in the future. Grindelwald will release as a 4K ultra high definition plus Blu-ray plus digital combo pack in two 3D editions, a 3D plus Blu-ray plus digital edition and a single disc 3D plus digital edition and will also release as a single disc Blu-ray plus digital set. A single disc DVD only set will additionally be available. Warner Brothers proudly claims that the movie movie will come bundled with an extended edition which includes an extra 7 minutes not seen in theatres. However, the fine print on the cover infers that said alternate cut will only be available on the digital release and not on the discs themselves. Additionally, if we take a look at the banner being used on the US Fantastic Beasts Twitter account, you will note the asterisk next to extended cut and fine print stating a digital offer and extended cut via digital redemption. This is an incredible shame and I really wonder why Warners has decided to pull such a ridiculous move on consumers other than a disappointing attempt to sway them away from the physical format, much as they're doing with their vastly differing release dates for physical and digital. I hope that this is amended before release so those who appreciate physical media can actually own a copy of the extended cut on the format. For those who don't mind importing, however, there will be a way to get the extended cut on physical disc, but stay tuned for more on that in a little bit. Regardless of this, I do like the artwork that has been used across these releases, though it does stray a little from the design of the previous Fantastic Beast movie and the recent Harry Potter re-releases. Target will be offering an exclusive version of the movie in book packaging with a 64 page book excerpt. I can only imagine that this is some kind of digi book including an excerpt from one of the film's art or making of books. This edition will come in two optional versions, a 4K plus Blu-ray plus digital combo and a Blu-ray Blu-ray plus digital combo. I really love the artwork that's been used on this set. It makes use of the film's teaser poster, which I've always thought is quite nice. Additionally, a Steelbook edition will be released exclusively through Best Buy and will be available only as a 4K plus Blu-ray plus digital combo pack. I think that this is a really nice dynamic artwork on this set and it matches nicely with the previous Harry Potter steals. A little good news for our friends across the campus in the UK where a physical release will land only one week after the US on March 18, 2019. A digital release will be available a bit over a week earlier on March 9, 2019. Much like in the US, Crimes of Grindelwald will be available in all formats, but in another bit of great news, each edition except the DVD will be bundled with an extra disc which seems to contain the extended edition. Releasing in the UK will be a 4K plus 2 Blu-ray plus digital combo pack, a 3D plus 2 Blu-ray plus digital combo pack, 
a two Blu-ray plus digital combo pack, and a single disc DVD which will likely only house the theatrical cut. There seems to be no fine print on the UK sets inferring that the extended edition will be relegated to digital only. And remember that banner being used on the US Fantastic Beasts Twitter account? Well, let's compare that with the one being used on the UK account. No asterisks and no fine print. To me, it's obvious that the UK branch of Warners actually gets it and seemingly values the importance of physical media and what it means to their consumers. If you live in the US and you wish to own the extended cut on physical media and not just digital, you can import any of these sets from the UK without a worry, as with all Warner releases, they will be region free. Other than that, the UK editions of Crimes of Grindelwald will be presented in slightly modified artwork from the US covers, which seem to match the previous Fantastic Beast cover a little more uniformly. Though it is worth mentioning that this artwork is still TBC and could in fact change before release. The UK is also set to receive an exclusive steelbook edition of the movie as a 4K plus 2 Blu-ray plus digital combo pack. The artwork will be slightly different to that of the US Steel, using the same interior, but the Target Digibook poster artwork on the front. I actually think this is the nicest steel of the two, as I really, really love that artwork. The Steelbook is currently showing as an HMV exclusive, but considering the company is now in administration and the Steel is no longer available for order on their website, I wouldn't be surprised if the Steel will instead be delegated to a Zavi exclusive, much like the recent Halloween Steelbook was. An exclusive to the UK will also be a two film collection box set featuring both Fantastic Beasts films. The set will be available as a 4K plus Blu-ray plus digital set, a Blu-ray plus digital set and a DVD only set. These will be available to purchase on the same date. In Australia, Grindelwald will be released around the same time yet again, with a release set for March 13, 2019. As always, however, don't forget you should be able to pick it up two days earlier on the 11th in store at JB Hi-Fi. There is scarce information available on the Australian editions just yet, so it's unconfirmed if they will come bundled with the extended cut physically at the time of publishing this video. However, as the UK and Australian market often seem to mirror each other, I'd say it's a pretty safe bet that they will. Australia has been confirmed to be releasing a 4K plus Blu-ray combo pack, a 3D plus Blu-ray combo pack, a Blu-ray only pack and a single disc DVD edition, while JB Hi-Fi will be the exclusive retailer for the Steelbook in Australia which is being offered as a 4K plus Blu-ray set. No cover artwork has been officially released for the Australian editions just yet but they will most likely mirror the UK sets all round. Let's very quickly have a look at some general release specs for Crimes of Grindelwald. The 4K edition of Grindelwald will feature HDR colouring along with a Dolby Atmos audio track which will also be presented on the Blu-ray edition. A selection of foreign language audio and subtitle tracks will also be included but these may vary depending on your location. Grindelwald also comes bundled with what Warners describes as over one hour of special features which will be available on all formats. These features are JK Rowling, A World Revealed, Wizards on Screen, Fans in Real Life, Distinctly Dumbledore, Six unlocking scene secrets featurettes including The Return to Hogwarts, Newt's Menagerie, Credence, Nagini and Circus Arcanus, Paris and Place Cachy, Ministère d'Affaires Magiques, and Grindelwald's Escape and the Ring of Fire. The disc will also include a selection of deleted scenes, assumedly different from those included in the extended cut. Grindelwald packages itself with a decent amount of features, and I'm sure, just as all Wizarding World bonus supplements, these will be a great and informative watch. However, with about a third of the offerings on previous movies, I'm unsure these will be as in-depth as what we're used to. Regardless, I guess that there's not too much to cover in this series without retreading the same ground over and over again, so this selection of features certainly should suffice. With all that said, let's get on to my final thoughts and my picks. I have been a big fan of the Harry Potter series for as long as I can remember. I read the original three novels before the films were even released and reread them over and over and over again. The movies were also on constant rotation in my house. For some reason, my love for the early works never really extended past Prisoner of Azkaban and it wasn't until recently that I finally had the chance to watch the remaining four movies that I hadn't watched previously along with the two 
fantastic beasts. I really, really enjoyed all of the movies, but unfortunately I wasn't much of a fan of Grindelwald, but as a completist, this is an obvious must own for my collection. Considering I own all the previous Wizarding World films on 4K, I will very easily pick this one up on the format too, where I'll likely grab an Australian edition to match my others. However, if it does turn out that the Australian edition doesn't include the extended cut on the physical, I will definitely look at grabbing a copy in the UK. And at that, we come to the end of another announcement video, and I certainly hope that I've helped make your purchasing decisions all the easier. Fire away in the comments below and let me know which version or versions of Fantastic Beasts, The Crimes of Grindelwald you'll be conjuring up for yourselves. Once again, you can find affiliate links down in the comments in the description below if you'd wish to purchase the movie from Amazon. If this is your first time viewing one of my videos, you like what you've seen, you'd like to see more like this in the future, then please don't forget to hit that big old subscribe button up on your screen right now, and also hit that like button down below if you're feeling extra generous. Also, don't forget to check out my many social media accounts, and please consider supporting me over on Patreon. Thanks for watching, guys, and I hope you have a wonderful day.